video we will learn about how we can make AWS client deep in IP static so there's a public document available on the same how can client VPN users get a static IP address so that they can access the internet so what happens when you are connected to the client VPN it would allocate you one static IP address public IP address and whenever you connect let's say after one hour or after two hour the public IP address would get changed and you would see a different IP address all the time so sometimes it happens when you want your users to connect via VPN they, sh they would get only a single IP address then they would hit the internet or any of your resources where you can whitelist that particular source IP addresses so in that use case it is really helpful to use a static IP address so let's get started so I am assuming that you already have a VPN setup where you are having split tunnel enabled so what is split tunnel split tunnel is, is an option through which you can choose either to send all of your user traffic via the aws internet or else you can select a typical side ranges to go via vpn and rest would go via your local isp so for this case scenario your split tunnel should be disabled so that all of your traffic would go via AWS so uh, let me open that AWS client VPN and let's connect to it so it is getting established and let me check what is my public IP so if you can see this is AWS public IP address and this would get changed like after after a few hours I would say and then the use case wouldn't be achieved if this keeps on happening so as per the document first of all what we need to do we have to use a NAT gateway so what is NAT gateway NAT gateway basically we use that gateway to allow your private ec2 instances to connect to internet what it does it would source that your private ip addresses to the public ip addresses and then send it to the internet through that your private ec2 instances would be able to access the internet without uh, having the public ip address attached to it and to do the same and right now uh, you can see with this vpc endpoint uh, client vpn endpoint this particular subnet is attached let me open this subnet and if you see under the route table it is connected to the internet gateway so internet, internet gateway wouldn't use uh, any static ip address at all and that's the reason uh, always when you connect to the client vpn uh, time to time its IP address would get changed so we need to use NAT gateway over here instead of internet gateway that would provide us a static IP address all the time so let's create a NAT gateway for this NAT gateway test cvpn net so here is a tricky part always while creating a NAT gateway public NAT gateway you always have to select a subnet which is having a, a internet gateway why so because overall after getting source NAT your traffic it should send it to the gateway internet gateway so that it can connect to the other internet services so it's just like you always need to select a subnet which is having an internet gateway attached so that it would get the access to internet after getting the source net so I am selecting a public subnet over here this one and elastic IP address you can either use the one uh, which is available or else I would choose allocate IP address so this is the new IP address it allocates and um, 1b so now if you can see right now i'm getting this ip address 52 66 
and over here it's 52 66 12 98 so this is gonna be the ip address static ip address which you always see whenever you connect to the aws client vpn so i'm selecting it create net and it's done so net gateway id is this 169 now i need to go to the subnet but what's the subnet mm -mm. i need to go to the subnet which is attached to the client vpn client vpn endpoint target network association and then this subnet opf let me open it over here as well okay here's the route I need to click over here this is the route added routes and okay this is black hole so let me remove this and add route so now I'm gonna send all the internet traffic via NAT gateway here it is this is the same net gateway see changes mm. okay go back we cancel this let me again edit it so there's all, all already an internet gateway uh, route present over here that's why we got that error so let me remove this and let me put net gateway it should work now yep so now we have a NAT gateway attached to the subnet which is associated with AWS client VPN so if you can see uh, subnet ID is 099BF CVPN attached subnet and you can verify the same over here target network association yeah BF right so let me test it out quickly it's connected let me disconnect so that it can refresh connect it again you can verify your connections from here as well it usually won't take this much of time so maybe there's a lot of processing happening at the back end mm, where is my connection where is my connection dun, dun, dun. Mm, it's taking more time so let me quit this and client vpn yeah connect my minute okay it's connected now mm -hmm. There should be one active two active connections okay last one it will terminate it soon this is the latest one uh, okay so let me try this refresh what is my ip see this is the same ip of the net gateway one two nine eight net gateway one two nine eight yep it's the same ip address that is it uh, if you like my video please do subscribe my channel and also uh, click on like button thank you